Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I'm going to be giving you my analysis and my stock price prediction for possibly the number one stock for 2021. CCIV or Lucid Motors has potentially 1000% growth potential. I'll also be doing a recap on some of my favourite stocks at the moment, NEO and BNGO, but I'll leave that until later in the video. But before we get started, only about 9% of you are actually subscribed to the channel, which is really low. So subscribe, it's free and you can always unsubscribe later. Also, be sure to check out my Patreon, linked in the description down below, for access to my stock portfolio, which I update each and every single day. I also do weekly live streams and offer one-to-one -one access. But for now, let's get into the video. So firstly, who are Lucid Motors? Well, they're an American automotive company specializing in electric vehicles. They're based in the US, in California, which has a number of benefits, which obviously I'll touch on later in the video. A number of their employees previously held senior roles at other car manufacturers, such as Tesla, and therefore they really know what they're doing. Lucid Motors focus on the high-end and luxury market, even more luxurious than Tesla. And I'd say actually this market is quite untapped. Tesla have been trying to get progressively more budget friendly and haven't really touched on anything luxurious since the Model S and the Model X. Now Lucid Motors have received a number of investments from fairly notable funds such as Sing Capital. But their main claim to fame is a $1 billion investment from the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia. Now this is really impressive because this investment comes from one of the big boys. Funds like the QIA or the Qatari Investment Authority or the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority or the Kuwait Investment Authority and many others have tons and tons of money, hundreds and hundreds of billions. They tend to invest in high-end US or UK corporate real estate and therefore gaining investment from one of these funds is really impressive because they tend not to go for more risky investments. Lucid Motors' first vehicle, the Lucid Air, was announced in November 2020 and is expected to start production in mid-2021. The car is expected to be able to do around 517 miles on a single charge, which is really impressive. It's better than the current Tesla Model 3, the Model S, but a little bit less than the Tesla Model S Plaid Edition. Another impressive factor is that the car is electronically limited to a whopping 217 miles an hour, and an unlimited version recently just hit 235 miles an hour on a racetrack. It's really impressive because the current Tesla Model S can only do 163 miles an hour. Even the Model S Plaid is only expected to just touch 200 miles an hour, but the Roadster will do 250 miles an hour. But remember, the Lucid Motors vehicle is going to be a four-door sedan like the Model S and not a two-seater sports car. Lucid Motors are going to be releasing a few different versions of their vehicle at various time frames. The version closest to release is the Lucid Air Dream Edition, with a whopping 1,000 horsepower able to do around 503 miles on a single charge, but it is quite pricey at $161,000, around $20,000 more expensive than the new Tesla Model S Plaid. The Dream Edition is going to be released in spring 2021, so fairly early quarter two. Next up we have the Grand Touring version, which gets a bit of a boost in mileage, but a reduction in horsepower and price, which is going to be released in quarter three, probably around the summer. We then have the regular Touring Edition, which is expected to be able to cover around 406 miles per charge at a cost of only $90,000, so fairly similar to the current Tesla Model S. This is going to be released in quarter four or late 2021. We then have the Air Pure Edition, which is expected to be able to cover the same amount of mileage, but in a slightly less luxurious package, only costing around $70,000, so about a $20,000 discount. So we can see that they've actually got quite a good lineup. Lucid Motors are also using the Mobileye technology for their autonomous vehicle system, which is the same stuff that NEO uses, or that NEO used as they've just bought production back in house. Lucid are also partnering with Amazon to feature an Amazon Alexa as the car's in car navigation and media control system. I think Lucid are really onto a winner here because Amazon are absolutely huge, they'd be a great partner, and they have a lot of experience and therefore can give advice where necessary. Lucid Motors also already have plans to release future vehicles such as Project Gravity, which is going to be an SUV. So I guess they're going to be kind of similar to Tesla. Four-door sedan first, SUV second. 
Lucid Motors do actually have a bit of a track record and they're not a brand new company. They've actually been in operation since around 2007, but have previously been supplying the batteries and powertrains to Formula E racing teams and other EV manufacturers. And therefore it shouldn't be a Faraday or a Dyson mishap where they're all talk and no do. But I'm sure all of you can read Wikipedia and therefore onto some actual analysis. Lucid Motors have plans to build a factory that can initially manufacture around 20,000 vehicles per year. They then plan to scale up production to around 140,000 vehicles per year and then to 400,000 vehicles per year. In December 2020, Lucid Motors completed phase one of their build and therefore when they start manufacturing the Lucid Air, they'll probably be manufacturing around 20,000 vehicles per year. But they do plan to start phase two of the development in early 2021 and therefore will probably be ramping up production to 140,000 vehicles fairly quickly. NEO just delivered 7,000 vehicles in December 2020. On an average annual basis at this current production rate, that means they can manufacture around 84,000 vehicles in a single year. They also have plans to up their production, firstly to around 130,000 vehicles a year, and then to 300,000 vehicles a year. 20,000 vehicles a year is a quarter of 84,000 vehicles a year, give or take, and the current NEO market capitalization is around $90 billion, and therefore a quarter of that is around $22 billion, give or take. The current market capitalization for CCIV is around $4.75 billion, let's call it $5 billion, and therefore on a comparative basis the CCIV stock could 4x by the time they start manufacturing their Lucid Air in mid-2021, bringing this stock to around $72 per share. To simplify that, basically if you take NEO's current share price, their current market capitalization and their current production and scale that all down to around 20,000 vehicles per year, the Lucid or CCIV stock could basically 4x from its current position. But if Lucid Motors can increase their production fairly rapidly from around 20,000 vehicles a year to 130,000 vehicles a year, it means they'll be manufacturing around one and a half times the amount of vehicles that NEO currently manufacture. And therefore you could take NEO's market capitalization of around $90 billion and times it by 1.5, meaning that the CCIV stock could literally 27x from its current point. Now that's obviously getting quite out of hand and is very much a what if scenario. But actually, Lucid Motors could one day be better and bigger than NEO. Firstly, NEO is a Chinese company. And I do want to say that there's absolutely nothing wrong with that because I do know that I have some Chinese subscribers. But obviously the US and China don't exactly have the best trade relationship. And therefore it's very difficult for a Chinese company to expand overseas to places like the UK, the US and the rest of Europe. And much, much easier for a US company to expand into the UK and Europe. And obviously the US market and the Europe market combined is bigger than the current Chinese EV market. And because of the complex trade laws in China and the government intervention, we as US or UK based investors tend to feel more comfortable investing in local companies rather than overseas companies that have expanded into our area. And that's why Tesla have such a significant lead in market capitalization over NEO. Obviously Tesla also manufacture more vehicles and there's many other reasons why Tesla are as large as they are, but part of that reason is because Tesla is a US based company operating in the US. You might notice that Lucid Motors isn't currently a publicly traded company. The SPAC CCIV is supposedly in talks with Lucid Motors to take them public. CCIV or Churchill Capital is an SPAC which stands for a special purpose acquisition that is founded by a previous Citibank banker. CCIV declined to comment when they were asked about the potential acquisition of Lucid Motors and just said that they are currently looking for potential acquisition targets. They didn't say, yep, that's us, we are acquiring Lucid Motors and the deal will be done next week. But they also didn't say, nope, sorry guys, wrong company. Technically, I don't really think that they could admit to it because obviously if the deal doesn't get done, then the stock would be pumped unnecessarily. So therefore, I think they have to issue letters of intent. Otherwise, I could literally start an SPAC next week and say, guys, look, I'm going to acquire Tesla next week. Just pump my stock, please. So yeah, they can't really admit to it yet. 
Lucid Motors have recently been seen advertising for new job roles for an SEC reporting officer and investor relations officers. And these roles are really specifically for public companies and not private companies. So it does seem like Lucid Motors is really looking for that public listing. In terms of the CCIV stock performance, the stock has had a good run up over the last week or two, rising from around $14 to around $18, but has been trading flat since last Thursday. In terms of the NEO stock, it looks like that dip down to $56 and below might already be over as the stock has risen back up to around $58, and therefore we might not be seeing NEO as in the low 50s or in the high 40s. BNGO is also up past its recent high of $9, almost touching $10 at $9.94. I really think that if BNGO can capitalise on their recent symposium announcement and all this cash raising by announcing a trade deal with a large distributor, their stock will break through that $10 mark and make its way towards $15. If you want more alerts like this and you want to find fast moving stocks before everyone else on YouTube finds out about them, then be sure to check out my Patreon link down below in the description where I update my current stock portfolio each and every day. I also do weekly live streams and offer one to one access. And if you want to support my channel for free, just drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel and be sure to check out some of my future videos or some of my older videos as this really helps out my channel. And as always guys, if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to check out some of my others. Alternatively, subscribe to the channel and ding the notification bell, because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.